Hey guys. Yep. It's time again. We are back with another mod spotlight. Now, definitely, without a doubt, this is definitely, probably, definitely in my top five favorite mods of all time. It is just an epic mod. You gotta get it. And guess what? 1.7 mods. We're here. This is 1.7.2. We're not doing any more 1.5s, 1.4s. Just we're going to back. Um, we're in 1.7, and this is 1.7.2, and we're doing the Flans mod now. This mod received a huge, major, just big update, and we're gonna get into it. So you're gonna you're gonna look here, and if you already know about the Flans mod, you're gonna say, hey, what's the difference? Everything's the same, aside from a few of the new vehicles, and nothing really else. Well. This, is, this only works in the modern weapons pack. Say, oh, oh, pretty much in most gun mods and the old Flans mod, when you hold a gun, it would look like this, you know, just pixelated with a scope and it shoots. And it's pretty cool. However, Flan has done something really cool. Just beyond cool. And I never seen a gun mod or slash plane mod, vehicle mod, do anything like this. Yep. I know there definitely is 3D guns, and I know the portal gun had this always aiming effect, but look at this. My jaw dropped when I first saw that. I was like, wait, what? Whoa, and I was just so surprised, and... And look at, he got the aiming, everything right. You know, I'm not touching any buttons right now, and like, look at, the aiming is perfect. And look at... The bullets come out in a pretty good spot. They come out where you expect them. Still a little bit off, but eh, not, so, not so much, you know. It works pretty nicely. And again, cool new types of scopes that you can use. It kind of reminds me of Alien vs. Predator mod. It, yeah, it reminds me of that. Also, if you ever heard of an app called Pixel Gun 3D, it reminds me of that. But the bullets come out in pretty, pretty good proportion, and look at that. So... That's something amazing. Before, it would just kind of like, um, have like the sounds and no animation, just like a gun. Basically just like something like boom boom and no animation. So that's, that's a really good input. Implement, my bad. Not input. Implement. So, we're gonna... There's just so many things in this mod. Just so many things that I probably won't go over. I don't know why the mech just didn't appear. Um, oh, another problem. I'm not really able to get the plant, um, planes to fly. I'm not sure why. I just installed it correctly. In fact, I didn't even s install it. I just used the installer from Skydaz. Once again, great site. Definitely recommend it. All credit goes to him and the modder. Especially both of them. So, that's, um... I never had this glitch ever before. Like, in the previous versions, I was always able to fly the pa planes. And, like... Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. So, we're going to get in pretty much into the mod, but that's okay. I think this is a huge, great update, and I'm really proud of what Flan has done. So, you know, there's just a ridiculous amount of things we can do here. But we're going to not focus on the weapons, because that's all for you. Not too much on the vehicles. Not too much on the armor. We're going to look at... First, we're going to take it to crafting um, boxes. Now, this is something different that most mods don't really use. We have a modern weapons box, which has the 3D guns before it wasn't 3D. The British weapons box, which is a World War II. The Russian, which is a World War II. German, which is a World War II. American, which is a World War II. Japanese, which is a World War II. And the Nerf one, which is just for fun, pretty much. So we can look through here. Some of these weaponry, um, or things to craft use different items, like the Nerf uses plastic, foam, and batteries, well, the modern weapons uses clay and sand mixture and fiberglass and iron and all that, and the World War II guns use the same, except for more coal and gunpowdery stuff. Um, so here you go, the modern weapons box, which I unfortunately don't have craft, um, crafting guide here, but damn it, I do not have crafting guide, but uh, I think I'll show you how to craft it. Let's go to craft table. Um, the, I don't think there's an update on for, um, on the crafting guide yet, so I don't really know. Alright, we need iron, 
And we need cactus green dye. Okay. Let's just do green. green. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Then we'll get our crafting table back, apparently, because I'm a moron. Alright, so here we go. I don't really know how to craft the, um... What the hell? Um, I, I don't really know how to craft the, um, other weapons boxes right now. I'm sorry about that, but... What's it up? I didn't see it. Wow, um... Well, here you go. I believe it was... There you go. So here you go. The Modern's Weapons Box, which is probably the best weapons, and my favorite, the one you would want, is iron going around the top, iron ingots like that, iron ingots on the bottom, and kind of shoved in the middle three cactus greens, and you have yourself a Modern Weapons Box, which we already have, but I don't care. So, let's break that and place this down. Basically how this works is, how this works is, see, we have all these guns here, and you don't craft them like a crafting table, like put certain things in certain places, like what you would expect in Minecraft. No. All you have to do is have the items it requires in your inventory and just click on the item you want and you'll get it. Uh, however, if you run out of your supplies, you can't make any more. So you can you can see there's a large amount of weapons here and it pretty much is the same thing except um, um, pretty much is the same thing for the other crafting boxes but maybe different like materials and all that. Um, you can see here the weapons vary. Sometimes some of the weapons are the same. Like in the World War II ones, a few of the teams had, you know, like the same boxes. Um, I mean, my bad, the same weapons. And the Nerf one is just a concoction of foam and electric and plastic stuff. This one, you can't hurt anybody with it. It does no damage. It's just... It, Flan even said he has no server things planned for it. It's just for fun. Um, also... These all just... These, you can't, like... You're probably thinking people who don't have this mod, this is all in the mod, um, and it's gonna stay, but no, there's actually content packs, like I said in my Terraria video, um, for that custom gun I made, there's pretty easy customization here in this mod, and I really like that, and fans and other people made their own content packs, and Flan made his own content packs that all come with the mod, like the World War II, the Nerf, and the Modern, now you can actually take the World War II out, and, or the nerf out or the modern out if you wanted you can like take the matches out I actually did not I don't know what happened to them either um say so, like you can oh take all the nerf and take all the World War II ones out and just have your modern because there's certain content packs and you can install new content packs that are not made by Flynn and made by other people so that's just something interesting I really like this new 1.7 effect that's quite interesting alright so we pretty much covered all this um it's a crafting box. Um, it was. See, you got a lot of parts here. Now, there's another type of crafting block. The vehicle crafting tables. The gun modification, the parts. Yeah, I don't really. You know. Oh, this is new. I never. I never had that little 3D effect. Oh, so before it was kind of hard. It had like a weird blueprint thing, and now it can show you your vehicle, and it's pretty easy to craft. Kind of reminds me of um, time splitters when you're picking your gun. That's pretty cool, like for the map makers. Um, but this is new. It's a lot easier now, and you can just kind of get your items and craft. Similar to the boxes, the crafting boxes before it was all weird blueprinty stuff that you had no clue what the hell to do. So it's a little weird. Um, but I pretty much covered. You know, I see the sun's going down. Times a day. Um, pretty much the missile, the crafting types. Yeah. Crafting boxes, yeah, pretty much covered all that. Transportation. However, okay, here we go. The planes don't really work. They don't take off. You can drive them like they're cars, but you cannot take them off. I don't know what happened. Before, I was able to fly them pretty easily in the other versions, but now they just won't take off. They just skid down on the ground. Like a car, basically. They're just basically giant cars with easier to use guns. So the guns do work on these, and they do drive around like cars, but they just can't fly. Everything works, except for the flying aspect of like, the, all the planes. However, the jeeps and the tanks do work. So we're going to get an M4 Sherman, which is the American tank, and as you can see, getting here, you, I added my own custom controls. The controls would be normally different, but I set L to inventory. See, alright, so we're gonna get some browning ammo, the all-famous browning. Yes. 
That was a very popular gun. I think it's still even used today, that gun. Browning. And... Hang on, I don't know why it's... Alright, I think I have it. I don't know why it doesn't work here. I think there's extra cockpits. Well, I don't... Oh, there you go. It's it, kind of weird. It comes out of your head. Like, it doesn't do that when you're using a gun. When you're using a gun in this mod, it comes out right where it's supposed to. But the weird thing is, it comes out of your head. When you're shooting in a vehicle, it'll come out of your head. But when you're using a plane, it would come out of the gun as well. Instead of your head. But other than that, it works pretty well. We'll test this out on mobs a bit in a sec. Um, we'll get the Cubal Wagon, I believe you pronounce that. Or Cubra, Cubal Wagon, because I know like in Team Fortress 2, the upper charge, so it might have that U pronunciation, pronunciation in there. I'm not sure, but whatever, it's a pretty cool car. It's like the Cars mod, except with a gun and multiple seats. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have anyone to play with, but this, all these vehicles and all these things you can do in this mod, there is tons of servers as well. It's amazing in multiplayer, trust me. It'll be like Mafia stuff. You'll be driving a car while enemies run by, you shoot them out. Just like four people in here, all your teams. This would work really well. Even this would work. You just have one guy controlling it, and what the hell? Get out! Uh, one guy controlling it and one guy shooting. Um, so basically, this one has the same kind of glitch when you. Uh, this one, I believe, uses the M4 MG. My bad, MG. What was it gonna call it again? L. L. Oh, I need to be in first. Sorry, I need to be in first slot. L. Guns. Yep, the MG42. Uh, so we're gonna get that MG42. MG42. We're, we, I'd rather use the um big weapons box, the 250 bullet box, which carries 250 bullets, obviously, um, L, oh, crap, oh, it's supposed to be, ah, oh, damn it, I keep forgetting that you can only be in the driver's seat when you're putting some stuff in, now, when you're, normally, you're gonna need fuel for this, when you're in survival, but since I'm in creative, I don't need any fuel, and also you can repair it when it's messed up, everything's good, um, you, of course you need stuff to repair it, you can store some stuff like cargo. This really reminds me of the Cars mod, the old Cars mod. Before it wasn't really like this. You can get bombs. Like, the bombs work on the planes, too. But actually, the bombs never really worked very good for me. Even in the older versions, too. Um, but we have our ammo stored up. You can only access the inventory in the front seat. Um, I'm not sure about the planes on that, though, or the tanks. If you can only access it in the front seat. I think you only could. Um, but pretty much... <laughs> Same mechanics, just different gun, different noise too. Oh, that was weird. But I can't wait to try this out. So, yeah, you pretty much know the vehicles and all that. We're just going to drive this out around a bit. Alright, so. Let's go. Oh, yeah, you have to hold W, my bad. Whoa, so I really like the whoa, I really like the effect he did. It's kinda like it's doing wheelies. It's a bit glitchy, but it's kinda cool. Like if it whoa, look at this, it's actually pretty cool. It's like you're doing like wheelies and stuff or like a dirt racer. Unfortunately you can only shoot when you're in that specific specific seat. And I can't really move around when I am uh, shooting at the same time in that seat, so that's unfortunate. You kinda have to like a whole W. It's pretty cool. I don't think it'll work in the ocean. I mean, water. Oh no, it bounced out. That's cool. Wee! It's like a moon buggy. I tried this on Galacticraft on the moon, and it works pretty well, actually. So, it, this would work better on Super Flat, but it's still pretty cool here. It has some pretty interesting mechanics as well. A bit buggy, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I think we're dead with that, but we have a gun up here, too. So, um, uh, that's pretty much all the vehicles. Let me demonstrate the planes. They won't work very well here. We're gonna muscle them. Because we don't want the big Lan um, Lancaster bomber. Uh, it's not gonna work very well here, but you, you'll see what I mean. It just won't take off, no matter... Like, I'm really confused with this. Damn it. I, I see, it doesn't... I need to get a better spot. Break, 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 break. No, screw it. It has some pretty good, um... Physics, though, I'm really impressed with that. It always had good physics. All right, so no matter where I am, I'm like, what 
is this landing up gear thing? What is this? I landing. I know it's landing gear, but normally it was supposed to be flying up or down. I know it's landing gear going up. And okay, shut up now. Okay, I know it's landing gear going up and down, like the landing gear. That's something new. But how are you supposed to? I checked everywhere, and yes, landing gear stuff doesn't work. No matter what you do, you can't fly it. It's done. It's broken. He'll fix it. Maybe another update. So that's pretty much all with the vehicles. My favorite is probably like the Sop with Camel. Yeah. I replayed Ready Squadron Pro when I was little. Had some great ones with this Sop with Camel. So that's pretty much all the vehicles. All the blocks. We'll get more into the guns now. There's things like binoculars, and there's knife. A knife, 10 plus attack damage. You can't block with it, but that's pretty effective. We're gonna look at that. RPG-7. Ooh. <clears throat> My bad. Um, RPG-7. It's The ammo was placed a little bit different. The ammo was placed next to each other last time. Now he ordered it out in, like, certain slots. It's a little weird, but that's alright. Now we, we're gonna... What gun are we gonna get? We're gonna get an LMG. Let's get... I like this one. The M60E4. M60E4. Do, do, do. Um, what else we're we gonna get? We get a P90. Uh, where's the P90 ammunition? Right there. And well, what are we gonna get last? Some like an assault rifle. Let's get an M16A4. That'll be nice. M16A4 ammunition. Where is it? Oh, that's World War II ammunition. My bad. We're probably gonna. I'm gonna show you World War II gun too. The World War II guns are not 3D, but they do have the kind of bow animation, even though when you're not shooting like an aiming, that's pretty cool. Back then, it wouldn't have that. All the textures were 2D and didn't have the aiming animation. The World War II ones are still 2D, but they um, have the aiming animation, as well as the Nerf ones are also 2D, but they do have the aiming animations. In fact, I am going to show you a Nerf gun later when I want to. Uh, enough yammering. I need to go up here, and it is, I believe, this one. Yes, M16A4. All right. We need to get some villagers. I think I don't remember what I did with my villager spawner. Whatever. We'll just get a new thing to murder with. Villager. Oh, yeah, we're going to put the ammos up here. Because you, you actually don't have to have your ammo on your hotbar. You actually can have it up and up way far away from your gun in your inventory. So that's something cool to like minimize that space. So let's... Yeah, nobody likes you guys. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, that's so better. Look at that. I'd actually like the P90s, the way it aims. It, like, it's just... The bullets go right above it, and you know where you're shooting. It's simple. Ah, die. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, hell. Look at this thing. Ah. Oh, shit. That's a bit of a glitch now. You actually take away blocks, but when you remove, sometimes they'll come back and they kind of bug you out. It's like they're there, but they're not there. Hang on, time's that day. It's like they're there, but they're not. It's, it's just weird. It, it never happened before. It would just kind of have like a little sword thing. But whatever, I suppose it doesn't matter. It has like the same glitch as the um, Star Wars mod, I believed. Um, more villagers. Yeah, villagers, villagers. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, I just love this reloading. It's like you want I wanna do it over and over again. It's just such good reloading. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're herming. It's a little bit glitchy with that gun, but look at this one. Yeah, it's a bit, it never really done that, it's a bit glitchy, but it works quite nice. I think I have to, I think I'm like hitting this. You need to... Crap, crap. Well, the melee weapon works quite nice. It has that same problem, but, you know, bugs people, he'll fix it, he'll fix it. Oh yeah, M16. Yes. Maybe if I spawn it out, I think they're kind of retarded or something. Yeah, there we go. Damn it, I'm, an, I'm a moron. This fence is defective. This is a defective shooting range. It, the stupid fence gets in the way. 
And it, you think you're shooting there, but it's not. It's an illusion. Optical illusion. Yeah, you die. There you go. Now it's working. I was wondering why it was working well before, and now it was not. But it was the stupid fence, that's why. Four of them. Alright, this is going to be awesome. Oh, he went through the vehicle, and I pwned them all. That's cool. I like this one. Like, before before it had three, three guns, I didn't really like this gun. But now, look at it. It's just... A barrel of death. And by barrel, I mean a barrel of a gun. Like, not a barrel, like, a barrel where they keep pickles. A barrel, like, the barrel of a gun. That's what I mean. What the... Who cares? Uh, and the P90 is pretty effective, too. P90 looks more effective, actually. And the M16 is... M16 and 4... This one is pretty awesome. This one I have right here. The M16 A4 I, in this mod I always thought was a pretty cool one. You can see. Yeah, the M16 A4 in this mod. I always liked this gun in this mod. It was always a cool one. Always cool. And I'm pretty sure you can tell why I thought this one was awesome. Because it is. And it even has a nice sight too. In fact, I think this one's better than the P90 and the LMG. I think this, this M16 A4 is pretty good. No wonder I like it so much. <laughs> See, that fence was defective. It's the fence that screwed me up. When you're really fighting, these guns are accurate, precise, and reliable, and not glitchy. It's a true story. Because Flan knows what the hell he's doing. He does. He, he definitely knows what the hell. If he can do this, he definitely knows what the hell he's doing, without a doubt. He's good at this. He should make, like, other mods. That would be cool. Not to, like, you know, mess with him or something. Well, he already made other packs, so we'll give him a break. He, he done a good job. I think my bullets... We have to shoot over here, because I think my bullets do damage the vehicles. So, last demonstration of how awesome this is. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So... Oh, wait, we didn't really do our RPG. Oh, yeah. And there's the explosion from the Terraria mod we're doing, so... Yeah! Hang on. We're gonna get a big splash here. Imagine a mob was there. We would have incinerated them. In fact, let's do that now. Oh, wrong gun, wrong gun. Oh, it's a bit glitchy when you... See? It's a bit glitchy when you switch between. Just realize that. That's alright, because, you know, it's pretty hard to make this stuff. It's not such a big deal, anyway. Oh, he's running away. He ah, crap. Well, you're dead anyway, so... Let's do that again, because it was a fail. Where are you? Yep. Let's just reload to show you again. Well, time is numbered. Ha ha ha! That was pretty cool. Um... So that's, and it even has like, you know, the knife, like a melee weapon, a sword. Better than, it's actually better than the diamond sword. Not sure how you craft it at all, but it's definitely better than the diamond sword. Because it had 10 plus attack damage. So that's pretty much all the guns and all the melee and the ammunition. Um, there's also like, we'll see, like a rock. You can craft this out of cobblestone, and you know, it's like a, a throwing weapon and a melee. So it's a pretty good weapon, you know, kind of use. So like, C4 plastic explosive. You got a remote, and you boom. And the claymores. Hang on. It, you see, it blows up. It's pretty cool. This. It's like shooting through a blast door. Now the claymores do not take, um, do not take any, um, what's it called, terrain away. However, they do damage your enemy when they walk near it. So if we get this guy to walk near it, he explodes. So, um, alright, so that's the claymore. I think it damages me too when I walk in it. Huh? You're gonna do it? Yep, there you go. Oh, that's cool. It's like a, a sticky launcher. Like the one in TF2. Um, yeah! 
Get more dead time. Come on. Yeah, and it worked first better. Well, the rock, yeah, it's pretty easy to craft. It's a good starter weapon. See, it worked. I think it's a pretty good starter weapon. And it even has some punch damage. I think this is a pretty good starter weapon. It just requires cobblestone. Not too good, but it's a good starter. And you pretty much get the point of the M18 Claymore. Um, the plastic explosive, and there's also grenades, which are basically, it, it works the same way as a rock, except for it explodes. Let me show you that quickly. Um, here. Okay, so, whoa, alright, we're gonna need to fix this up. Eh, next mod review, spotlight, my bad. Um, but that's the grenades, the claymores, and all that explosive stuff. You need the remote to explode. Uh, World War Two kind of. Oh, we didn't go over the um, AA guns. We'll go over the this one. Um, and there's also a crossbow. It's kind of boring. It just it's basically like the other gun that's not um, 3D. Except they just reload, shoot, reload, shoot one. It's slow and it's not. It's powerful, however. Um, that's pretty much all the guns, all the grenades, all the vehicles, all the crafting, all the thing with the mod. I don't know where the meshes the meshes didn't show up. I don't know why. However, these um, AA guns, they kind of work like the vehicles. However, they require ammo to hold in your hand. Kind of like a gun gun. So that's pretty cool. If I, um, if I find it. I think it's... Oh, it's in the World War II one. My bad. Here we go. You place it. It looks like this. Looks pretty cool. And you just shoot. With, oh, wait. I didn't what? Hang on. Alright, there you go. Oh, good stab a little bit, but it works. Oh, there we go. So you get destroys vehicles, and you can sort of see the bullets go there. It doesn't take away any terrain, but it does a lot of damage on vehicles and mobs. So we're gonna put a villager. Whoa! Stupid claymores. We're gonna put a villager over here, and we're just gonna. Yeah, so it's pretty effective. The other one's the same thing, except it only has one barrel, so this one is capable of automatic fire. So that's something cool. So that's the AA guns, that's the guns, that's the vehicles, that's the crafting, that's pretty much everything in this mod. Great mod, I definitely recommend it. And that's all, and I will see you next time. Notice how I do the sun thing.